foundation of any business starts with a business and sales plan. Today, I wanna help you go through and really establish your 90-day sales plan. And that first starts with having a dominant sales focus. I'm a huge believer in a dominant focus versus the word goals. A lot of people set goals and then they don't reach them, so therefore they lower them, or they do reach them and they hit cruise control. To me, it's gotta be a dominant focus and that consumes you every single day. So that's the first part. The second part we're gonna go through and really establish your professional versus amateur activities. There are certain activities every single day that get you paid, those are professional activities. And then there are amateur things that do not get you paid. That really just means not paid. So on a micro level, on a daily basis, what are you doing that are high value uses of your time every single day to drastically drive up the probability of sales? And then the third component is I wanna go deeper into our proactive prospecting system. What I've learned is that most people just wanna to be told what to do on a daily basis. And so that's where we developed a plan for you. And I believe a plan should be easy on paper. That's what we're gonna help you do to break down this 90 day sales plan. As we work through your 90 day sales plan, I wanna give you some backdrop into why I chose 90 days. You know, when I first launched my business, I was one of those annualized goal planning people. And what I realized is it didn't create a sense of urgency. It didn't give me a scoreboard. It didn't hold me accountable. And so I have one very basic belief in life. Trained people will always outperform untrained people. So when it comes to these 90 day sales, I wanna help you number one, establish your daily sales habits tied to your dominant focus. Part number two goes into how do we create that sense of urgency. I'm a huge believer that a sense of urgency keeps you on pace every single day. And when we get stagnant, when we get bored, when we get complacent, that's when our numbers dip for us. So I wanna create a sense of urgency for you in a 12 week span versus annualized goals where you just hit cruise control. So every single day I wake up on fire because I have a sense of urgency. I reset at zero every day. What does that really mean? I'm still doing the same amount of calls every single day, regardless of if I had huge success the day before or not. So reset at zero, and that way you create that sense of urgency. And as we all know, the largest gap in the world is the execution gap. We're not short on ideas, we're short on the implementation of those ideas. So when you set that dominant focus, when you're accountable to a scoreboard, when you create a sense of urgency, now we're gonna tighten and close that gap to drastically increase the probability of good things happening for you every single day for your business. That's why I believe trained people will always outperform untrained people. So as we work through your sales plan, there's really different intentions that I wanna work through with you. Number one starts with the clarity behind why you're doing what you're doing. There's nothing worse than being confused, right? Confusion creates a lot of cloud, a lot of judgment, errors for you. So when it comes to getting clarity, I want you to wake up every single day and know exactly what you should be doing because again, there's nothing worse than not knowing where you wanna go, right? If you type in uh, something into the GPS right now and, and you're, not, uh, you're not clear about where you're gonna go with that, it, it creates confusion. I wanna give you that clarity. So the clarity leads into the confidence. When we know better, we do better, or at least we should, otherwise it's negligent towards your future. So confidence is the one thing that affects everything in our lives and in our business. So when we have the clarity, we wake up on purpose and on point. Now we have that confidence to go out there and really manifest our bigger future. So that way that plan should be easy on paper. And then the third component is to empower you to take more action. Once we have the clarity and the confidence, now we can go out there every single day on fire and we're empowered and we're confident. And therefore, man, we're ready to go take on the world and go grow our business every single day. So that's our intentions when it comes to your plan on paper.